Welcome to the channel everybody. This is Sunset Golf. We're going to be doing some course vlogs, instructional content. Today we're going to start with a nine hole course vlog down at Lake Bernadette in Tampa, Florida. We're not going to get the tee shot, but we're going to start right in the middle of the fairway here. Second shot, 145, a little pitching wedge. You're going to notice throughout the video that I'm working on a couple things. Alignment is big. I'm also going to be doing this little takeaway drill pretty much before every swing. I have a tendency to open up my hand a little bit. Right here, left the club face open, just a little push into the green side bunker. Shouldn't be a big problem though. The sand's wet, so I kind of just close the club face Hit it hard, let it kind of run out on the green. Just came up a little bit short. Throughout the round, I didn't really have the speed of the greens that good. Like I said before, we got a lot of rain in the last couple days, so they haven't really had the opportunity to cut the greens. So they're running pretty slow, they're pretty hairy. But start with the opening bogey. Moving on to the second hole, par four, 380, 390. Throughout the video, you're gonna see me hit iron off every tee. My three wooden driver are currently out of commission. Just trying to play a little draw off the houses in the background, dog leg left, give myself a good look at the green. Again, there's that takeaway drill that I'm gonna be doing throughout the video. Right here, I hit the ball pretty good, kinda, of, again, just left the club face a little open and pushed it, but still pretty good, found the right side of the fairway. Here I have 175, a little into wind, but not too bad, seven iron. Aiming at the right side of the green. Pin was on the left, just trying to draw it over. And this swing, I just got quick. Didn't hit it great. Again, pushed it to the right. It was kind of my miss in the first couple of holes. The reaction's a little dramatic. Just found the front edge right off the green. Pretty straightforward up and down here. I've been trying to use the bounce on my wedges a little bit more while I was chipping right here. That's my miss right there when it gets stuck in the ground. Use the bounce a little bit more. Weight forward, ball back in the stance. And this was a great shot. Actually almost went in. Left myself two, three feet up the hill. Easy tap in. Go to the third tee with a par. Third hole is a par three, 175 again, same club, seven iron. Pin was on the left-hand side, so again, I'm just aiming at that green side bunker behind the green, play a little draw. And this was one of my better swings of the day. Takeaway felt good. And when the takeaway is good, I kind of just let the rest of my swing go on its own. Obviously liked it, a little twirl. And like I said, great shot, five feet, pin high. This putt's right edge, kind of just trust the read. Didn't bend a lot, but snuck in for a birdie to get back to even. Fourth hole, par five. It's a short one, 490. Like I said before, no driver, no three wood. Little iron off the tee. Aiming at those trees in the fairway, just right off the right side. Play a big old draw to the left side of those trees. Give myself a look at the green. And again, another good swing. Exactly what I wanted to do. Piped it. Probably 2, 220, 230, right down the middle of the gut. 
So here there's water protecting the left side of the green. So I'm gonna aim right. Hopefully it just goes straight. There's no trouble right. If I overdraw this, it's gonna go in the water. So thought I'd bail out right, aim over there. If I'm gonna go anywhere. And this was a swing where I wasn't super confident in what I wanted to do. As you'll see, it wasn't great. Kind of rushed it. And just hit a chunk. Didn't kill me though. I was right at that white cart sign up there. The chip didn't record, but it wasn't that good. Expected better. Gave myself about 20, 25 feet up the hill. Breaking right to left. And this is just another example of me not really having the speed of the greens. was kind of frustrated I mean I had five feet left but I was like whatever I was thought I was gonna make it little fadeaway putt missed it just a really stupid bogey to get to plus one uh, hole five tee shot didn't record because the camera died so I actually switched over to the iPhone but in future videos I actually like this picture better than the camera so I think I'm gonna keep using the iPhone Although for this shot, I wasn't used to the frame of the iPhone because you can't see my lower body or the ball, which is a shame because this again was one of my better swings of the round. Really working on the takeaway there, add some depth to the swing. And this thing was just roasted right at the flag, 188, six iron. From where I was standing, it looked like it was right on the flag, but ended up having 20, 25 feet down the hill, swooping right to left. Thought I had a pretty good read on this putt, but execution was pretty poor. Pulled it, didn't hit it hard enough. Never really had a shot to go in, but got it to about foot and a half, two feet. Easy tap in par, going on to the next. Hole six is a par three, 160. A little bit into wind, so I grabbed an eight iron, just choked down on it in a little bit, flight it down. Pin was on the right-hand side of the green, so I knew if I overdrew it, I would probably still find the left edge. And this swing was just rushed. Pulled it, yanked it. Again, kind of a dramatic reaction, but ball didn't find the putting surface, but I was just off left. Still had a putter in my hand. When I walked it off, it was around 35 feet, up the hill, down the hill, breaking left to right. Again, kind of just frustrated with the speed of the greens. I never really had them. And I wasn't gonna leave this one short. I definitely didn't leave this one short. Frustration gave me a seven footer. Luckily it was uphill, didn't break a lot. Just aimed right edge. A Little bit more speed to take the break out of it. And that's a great putt to make par. After a couple kind of bad shots, Going on to seven with a par. Seventh hole, par five, five ten. Was trying to play a draw off the trees in front of the house right there. In this hole, the miss is definitely left. So I knew I could draw this and really not get into any trouble. Just a little overdraw, maybe a little bit of a pull. Found the rough on the left-hand side. Didn't have a range finder, but knew I couldn't go for it in two, so I just grabbed an eight iron, lay it up in the fairway, give myself a little flip wedge to the green. 
This was a good swing, no pressure. Fairway's big, so. Lay it up there, probably 170 down the fairway. Gave myself 65 yards, grabbed a 60 degree, little three quarter, two thirds, 60 degree wedge. Again, that takeaway, just trying to add a little depth to the swing. The ground was super wet, so I knew I had to strike this one pretty good. Wedges have a tendency to dig a lot when the ground's wet. I hit it okay, a little fat, but hit it well enough to get up onto the green and give me a little look for birdie up the hill, probably 15, 20 feet. Breaking cup, I think I had it a cup, cup and a half outside right. And I love that the grass here is in focus and I'm not, but what are you gonna do? Good stroke, just trying to get, just trying to get the pace of the greens with this one. And finally got the pace right. Little birdie, that always feels good. Eighth hole, back to even par for the round. A short par four here that you can't really go for unless you play a big old hook. The green's tucked left behind these tall trees to my left, so just got a six iron. Aiming at the fairway bunker on the right. No, I can't get to the bunker, so just a confident swing. The landing zone isn't huge, so this iron still has to be pretty good. And I just hit this thing really well. Takeaway was better. Just really straight, right at the bunker, right where I was aiming. Give myself a little wedge into this green. Second shot, 80 yards. Again, pulled the 60 degree. Again, this is just a three quarter swing with this club. Just have to strike the ball a little better. This section of the fairway wasn't as wet as the last fairway, so I knew I didn't have to hit it perfectly like last time. Wasn't trying to do this, but it ended up being a little pull cut kind of shot, and it just never left the flag stick. I thought this was gonna be a couple feet, even from the fairway, it looked like it was really tight, but ended up being 15 feet-ish down the hill. Another right to left putt, it seemed like every putt was right to left, but had this probably a cup outside right, downhill a little bit, but it was pretty flat. Put a pretty good stroke on this putt. Good stroke, pretty good speed. Just left it a little bit low, didn't play enough break, but can never complain about a tap in par. Moving on to the last hole, hole nine. It's a par four, about 350. My play on this one was a little four iron. Aim down the right hand side, little baby draw. Give myself a little wedge. And I hit this one pretty good. It just never turned over. Kind of just faded to the right. Just got a super lucky bounce off one of the hills on the right-hand side. And it bounced it right back into the right side of the fairway, which was nice. Gave myself a look at this green. 120, which is a tough yardage for me. That's kind of right in between clubs. So I pulled a 52 and just thought, like, little three-quarter swing on this one. Pin was in the left. So I knew I could kind of aim at the right edge of the green and kind of just draw it over. But this is one of those swings where I was never super committed to what I was doing. And when that happens, it's really hard to hit a quality golf shot. Pulled it a lot over the left-hand bunkers, green side. 
It was going to be a really hard up and down from back there. Especially with the condition of this green, obviously. It's not great, but here comes the chip. It was, at, it was actually pretty good. It was better than I thought it was going to be. It released nicely. Gave myself a five, six footer up the hill. Really wanted to make this one. Finish it even par. Had it right edge with some speed, just take the break out of it. And was just a really good stroke. Right edge, boom, finish, even par. Great first round of the year. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more content. We're gonna be doing a lot more course vlogs, instructional videos. Check out sunsetgolfcompany.com for hats, hoodies, t-shirts, all that sort of stuff. Instagram is going to be in the description for Sunset and myself. My name is Riley. So subscribe to the channel. A bunch of new content coming your way. Spread it around. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Thanks, guys.